Dear Elmer, can't you ever keep your nose out of trouble? Margaret told me you were in the hospital again. Then to top all that off, there was a clipping in the paper about you, and from the picture they printed, you sure had your face lifted, and you didn't ask me either. Clipping enclosed. We received a letter from Carl, and he said he was writing to you because he hadn't heard from you for so long. He never tells a single thing in his letters, but you give at least enlighten us. What you give at least enlightens us. Maybe it's because he doesn't know me at all. I guess that's the solution. Margaret got a letter from Werner, and he's on his way home, but for how long? She doesn't know. Willie is on his way over to see you and Carl. At least he's headed in that direction. Did you get a letter from Wanda Huss? Boy, is she a card. The other day she was over helping Margaret mow the lawn and, and rake it. They looked so hot and tired. Melvin opened the window, called them over for a Coke. Margaret gets home at 7 in the evenings this week, and I think I will go over and see her. Melvin had to have his front tooth pulled, the one that was sort of black. <laughs> he even lisps a little now. Next week, he's having a new one put in and will look like new again. I just finished a letter to Carl, and I thought I'd better not let your last letter go unanswered. News. Florence, you know, the old bag, got married May 14th to that sailor she was supposed to be true to. Poor guy. He will be 22 in November, and she was just 26 or 27. I don't really know. He has gone back now, but as far as we know, she hasn't gone out yet. The night before she heard he was home, she was out with some old guy. She got a diamond from him Christmas, and she went out af after that. Some dame. There isn't a bit of news from here. All it does is rain and more rain. Melvin still works the night shift, and I don't think he will ever get off of it as long as they continue to have them. Right now he makes more money, and I suppose you'd better make it while he can. Drop us a line when you have a spare minute, and let us know how you are. Be careful, take care of yourself, as ever, Mary and Melvin. His sister lived across the street, and her husband was in service, and he was in service, and his brother was in service, and I just wrote letters cards all the time. I had, it's a good thing it wasn't a 44 cent stamp then. <laughs> you knew the mail was slow, but that, yeah, I knew the slow. mail was slow, but I didn't know it was that slow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>